Hi everyone and welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, we're going to talk about home networking basics. We'll be discussing the relationship between the modem, router, and the switch. For those of you who are new to home networking, this episode will give you a complete understanding of home networking basics. So let's get started. The first thing I want to discuss is how these devices are hooked up and in what order. So we're going to start with the first device. And that device is your modem. Now there are hundreds of modems on the market, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is, is you have a modem hooked up. And by that, I mean you have a coax cable going into your modem from the cable company. This is the most common situation. A less common situation would be if you have fiber optics. But that's for a different episode. So what is a modem? A modem is a device that transfers data that's sent to it and displays it on your computer. And any information sent over the cable is an analog signal. So the modem will convert the analog to digital. So in simple terms, your modem will connect you to the internet. So where do we go after the modem? Well, you may be asking the question, can I just plug my modem into my computer? Well, the short answer is yes. You can simply run an ethernet cable from your modem to your computer. But would I recommend doing that? Absolutely not. Even though most computers have software firewalls installed, it really pales in comparison to the protection afforded by an inexpensive router. So let's talk about the router. The most common routers on the market are your Wi-Fi routers. Because Wi-Fi routers give you a wireless connection as well as an additional four wired connections, typically. So I'm not gonna go into depth with routers, but they are relatively inexpensive. So from the back of the modem, there's an ethernet jack. And from that jack, you wanna plug in an ethernet cable. I recommend a Cat6 cable. And then plug it into your router. On the back of your router, you'll typically see five connections. You'll see four LAN connections and one WAN connection. Plug the cable from the modem into the WAN connection. That's wide area network. This gives your router access to the internet. So now you have wireless connectivity. And because the router has four LAN connections, local area network, you could connect four computers to this router. But you may be asking, what if I have five computers in my house, or six? Well then, you're gonna need a switch. And the question's gonna be, how many extra ports do I need? And this really depends on your situation. I always recommend getting extra ports because it future-proofs your house. I would recommend an eight port switch. Either a Netgear or a TP-Link is good. And they're between 20 and $30. So how do I hook up the switch? Well, from one of the LAN ports on the router, Connect an Ethernet cable. I recommend a Cat6 cable, but you can use Cat5e. And run that cable to your switch. You can plug that cable to any port on that switch. So now if you have an eight port switch, you now have seven more ports for seven more wired devices. And with the three extra ports on the router, that gives you a total of 10 wired devices. Plus you have wireless as well. So everyone, this is the basics for home networking. This video should give you a good idea of how to set up your network. Well guys, I wanna thank you for watching. And once again, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive.